pleased to be joined by the uh, chief of the Ottawa Police Service, Vern White. First of all, thank you for the wonderful birthday greeting on Friday hey, morning. Hey, happy, happy Thanks birthday. Thanks a lot. 50's an important age, you know. What are you, 52? You're still alive. You're it's 52? Important you. I'm still 52. So not long <laughs> after that, you announced, uh, after you made that uh, a tremendous birthday greeting, uh, you announced that uh, you had accepted an offer from the Prime Minister. You're going to become a senator. Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was the Ottawa Senators. I watched the game last night. Spectacular game. It was a good game. It right? was a spectacular. You yeah. know what? You know what? They're fun to watch. Carl, they don't give up. No. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So, what made you say yes? Uh, you know what? Um, you couldn't say no. Uh, I, I, 30 years of policing now, I keep saying the same thing, that I've uh, wanted to make a difference in every community I've worked in. I've tried, I think, to do that. Yeah. Um, 16 or 17 communities, and uh, I think this is a chance to maybe make a difference at a different level. You had recently signed a contract extension because I remember uh, talking to you, I think it was here one day, and, or no, it was actually out at uh, the run in Stittsville. You and I had a quick yeah, conversation. You didn't run, but, uh, no, I was no. there. Yeah. Anyway, you said, What am I going to do next? Because your contract was going to expire, and then it got renewed till what, 2015? 2015, yeah. Yeah. And you just, that was in July? Yeah. I mean, right? And you, you were happy about that. I know yeah, you I were excited, excited to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what, what, pushed you to accept this position in that regard? Uh, you know what, that was probably the hardest part and, and probably the... the Because uh, you're not a guy who changes commitments. No, uh, that was the hardest part. I mean, it wasn't, first of all, you know, I grew up in a pretty small town, uh, as you know, in uh, Cape Breton. It's not uh, something you ever think about. Uh, well, first of all, most of us couldn't get in policing, to be honest. Yeah, yeah really, true enough. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, let alone uh, be offered a, a position in the Senate. So it's not something I've ever thought about. Uh, so that was the hardest part was uh, going through that process and you know thinking about the organization and the community and I, I love both mm -hmm. um, you know somebody asked uh, about what's my proudest moment I said having the opportunity to serve this city and serve the membership but so. you, and you, you mentioned this earlier you, you, you know you, you, you try and make a difference in a community uh, wherever you go and you've done that here mm -hmm. and you were continuing to do that yeah. so well if the, if, if, the mo if the offer had been something outside of Ottawa it would have been almost impossible to take because you know, I, 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 my uh, Maria Fortunato, my EA, could tell you. I think I said on 22 or 24 different boards and committees and groups. Uh, yeah. Are you still going to be able to do that yeah, work? Yeah. Uh, the vast majority, for sure. I spoke with the ethics advisor already. The vast majority of those things I can continue Some doing, which are extremely do. important. Yeah. Uh, for me, you know, the work with uh, drug treatment and addictions. Myself and Maro Belanger will be embarking on a. a uh, school-based programming that we've uh, kick-started already and trying to see how we enhance that and grow it from high schools into middle school so there's also the the pay is not as good eh? no it's, uh, it's not even close <laughs> you're talking <laughs> about a hundred seventeen thousand dollar pay cut not everybody can take a pay cut like that well and um, it'll be tough to take but you know what I, honestly it really come down to the opportunity to serve I think is that you know mean less meat in the smokehouse what does that mean you know, Instead of Arctic char, it'll be salmon. Salmon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the um, smoker, that's it. Uh, you're right. It must have been tough for you. And I know uh, you were on uh, vacation at, where in Finland, Finland when, yeah. you, when you first got the first call. Yeah, you know that's in Europe, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Did, was it the prime minister on the phone? Yeah, uh, first call wasn't. The second one was. Is that right? Yeah, first time I've ever. Did it take some convincing? Out. Uh, the first discussion, uh, I guess for me it was trying to figure out, um, you know, look, it, it was about leaving something I loved to do. I loved every day of 30 plus years. Right. Um, that was the convincing part. I, I got the opportunity to serve in the greater cause. I got all that pretty quickly, but this is a, uh, I love what I do. Yeah. And this final question, I noticed yesterday that certain uh, reporters, and, and, and uh, one of them I believe was Bob Fife, who, who pointed out or, or said that, the only reason you got appointed to the Senate was because uh, you were the only police chief in the country who agreed with the Tories on the uh, abolishing the gun registry. How do you answer that? That's BS. Um, first of all, uh, Rick Hansen out of Calgary was actually a greater supporter of abolishing the gun registry than I was. He's and a good he, guy, Rick He's Hansen. a great guy. Yeah, and yeah. if you think back about what my point was, my point was don't feed us with garbage. It's not actually checked 30,000 times a day. Right. It's uh, that's so. Mine is about <laughs> use the real information, not the disinformation that people are using. Yeah. Okay, we got to go. We're out of time, but I Good. thoroughly uh, look forward. You to look great for fifty, man. Honestly, I know a little bit of extra time in, in the makeup in Canada's room this morning. upper chamber. I did actually. <laughs> I don't know. I can tell. No, you look younger. You look. I had a makeup lesson on Friday from my good friend Melody, 
And so I. You might want to spend a little more time with her then. It's been fun. Happy <laughs> birthday. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>